going guys thank you so much for joining me in this video we are going to go over how to charge the ford mustang mach e at home and uh let me tell you when i first got this car it was a learning curve i had never had an electric car before um you know you got to figure out you know voltage and the range and you know the different types of charging the 120 and the 240 volt and all that stuff so it could get a little bit confusing at first there's a little bit of a learning curve but once you have it down it is super simple now let me just go over how i have it set up at my house to charge the ford mustang mach e now first things first when you purchase a ford mustang mach e it comes with what's called the ford mobile charger now the ford mobile charger has two different adapters it has a 120 volt adapter and it has a 240 volt adapter now here are the differences the 120 volt adapter you can get up to three miles of range per charging hour so if you do the calculation it takes forever to actually charge the car if you're using the 120 volt outlet now in a pinch if you have to take your charger with you and you need a little bit of charge you know going uh, on a road trip or going to someone's house you know sure it might work but for daily charging you definitely want to use the 240 volt outlet um, or adapter uh, now with the 240 uh, you can actually get up to 20 miles of range per charging hour which is actually perfect because you know if you're on a daily commute you come home from work all you have to do is plug in your charger 20 miles per hour um you know when you wake up in the morning and go to work you have a fully charged car so it's plenty fast there's also what's called the 48 amp ford connected charge station and uh ford advertises that as getting 28 miles per charging hour um i don't know if that's worth the 800 dollar price tag um i opted to just use the uh, charging station that the, the car brought with it. Um, you know, I figured 20 miles per charging hour for the 240 volt uh, adapter versus spending an extra $800 for the uh, Ford connected charge station, which charges, you know, eight miles per hour quicker. It just wasn't worth it. I mean, if you're plugging in your car when you get home and then you're driving in the morning, 20 miles per hour of charging is plenty i mean i i didn't see at least in my situation i didn't see the need to spend an extra 800 dollars to get those extra eight miles per charging hour now this part was a little bit confusing because i had never heard about this but there is actually a way to schedule your car for uh non-peak uh hours for your electricity bill or your utilities basically um and what you have to do is call your utility company whoever does your electric and figure out if you get a discount for uh charging during non-peak hours now personally with my electric company there was no difference in price at any time of the day um when you're charging during like you know non-peak hours to get a discount for your electricity so i just literally i don't have anything set up for specific charging hours i literally just plug it in whenever i'm low and uh i just charge it because again there's no incentive for me to charge it like say you know from two in the morning to six in the morning when electricity is cheaper uh from the utility company like i said i have uh no incentive there's there's no discount so i don't have anything programmed like that but if you do have a maki -E or any electric car and um you're curious just call your electric company and they'll be able to let you know whether or not you get a discount for charging during specific hours now how long it's gonna take for your mustang mach e to charge really just depends i mean you never I, i've never had a situation where i'm at zero percent you know you don't drain the car all the way to zero um if you're just commuting on a daily basis maybe you use you know 100 miles of range in the day so like for example right now it's at uh 72 percent uh charge it says we're going to charge at 100 percent at 9 39 p.m and uh right now it's 209 p.m uh so it's uh it the full range is about you know 240 miles so you can kind of calculate how long it's really going to take um but like i said if you're commuting you're on uh on a daily commute you're going to use about 100 miles of range it is you know you charge it when you get home and then you're going to have a full charge in the morning it's nothing really to stress and this is on the uh 240 volt outlet i literally do not use like once we got this uh dryer plug installed um you know we called uh our electrician and they just came out they ran a uh dryer plug a 240 volt 
out to our carport uh, from the uh, electrical panel. And once we got that 240 volt installed, it has been amazing. I mean, the 120 volt, it it's, I mean, three miles of range per hour is, is horrendous. Like you're never gonna get the car charged like that. So the 240 volt uh, dryer plug was, uh, came in very clutch. Uh, it's definitely a necessity if you're gonna be charging at home. Um, so make sure to get one of those if you do or are planning on getting a Mach-E. So there you guys have it. That is how I charge my Ford Mustang Mach-E at home. If you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, if you have one or if you're considering get one, would you go with just the 240 volt outlet or would you splurge and get the $800 charging station that charges, you know, eight miles per hour faster than the 240 volt? Um, like I said, I personally, 240 volt, is absolutely plenty i am not spending an extra eight hundred dollars um it was actually uh, i think it was like eight hundred nine hundred dollars my electrician charged me just to run that dryer plug so i was not gonna spend you know close to two grand because you're adding 800 bucks plus taxes and all that stuff on top of the installation for the dryer plug uh so it just wasn't worth it for me um but let me know what you guys think of the charging setup on the ford mustang mach e thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video